Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Lionel Messi, the Argentinian footballer, has quoted that quote. If football has taught me anything, is that you can overcome anything if and only if you love something enough. Unquote. This is a timeless principle for achieving success and the fulfillment in life. In this video, we will be talking about a legendary lady footballer who wants to play football so much so that she had to act as a boy just to get a chance to play it. She is the first woman footballer of India to be awarded the prestigious Padma Sri Award for her contribution in the field of sport, particularly to football. Do you know who are we going to talk about? We will be talking about Oinam Bembem Devi. She has been given the title of the Queen of Indian Football or the Durga of Indian Football. Such was her impact on the field of women football in India. In this video, we will be talking about her early life, how she used to play football, how she became the footballer that she was before her retirement in 2016. So hang around and enjoy the video. Before we go on, please like, share and the comment on the video. Your like, share and the comment motivate me to make more video like this. If you haven't subscribed the channel, please click this subscribe button. Oinam Bem Bem was born in the year 1980. She was born to let Oinam Nageshwar Singh and the Rohini Devi of Pishung Thong Oinam Lekai in Fal Manipur. They had eight children. Bem Bem was the sixth child of the family. When Bem Bem was a kid, her father was unemployed. As such, the family suffered due to the impoverished condition of the family. Bem Bem was a sport-loving child. She used to play cricket and football, but her love for football dominated. She started to take serious interest in football when she was around 8 years old. Like most of the parents of the time, Bem Bem Paren used to disgrace her not to engage in football that much. Instead, she was told to focus on her study. However, despite the opposition of her parents, Bem Bem used to play football secretly. Her love for football can be gauged from the fact that she used to call herself boy's name so that the boys may include her in their team. She made the boys in skill and stamina in the game of football. She had played like this for about 3 or 4 years. You can't keep the fire undercover for long. The talent of Bamba couldn't be concealed for long. In 1991, she represented the Yawa club Laisang Thiem Laikai Singzamai in the state football tournament. She played for the club for about two years till 1993. During this period, she was helped and coached by Oza Kumar. She had a high regard of the coach. Seeing her passion and the love for football, her parents began to encourage her. Witnessing her football flair, Social Union National Club approached her. She was a mere 13 year old girl. She was reluctant to choose the club. However, upon the insistence of her parents, she agreed to perform in the Social Union National Club. This was where she met Soibam Ikendra. He had a huge influence in her becoming the footballer that she was. She represented Manipur in the under 13 National Women Football Tournament. Noticing the brilliant performance of Bam Bam in the under 13 tournament, she was selected to play for the Indian national football team in 1995 against Guam in the Asian Women Championship. What was unique about her selection was that she made it to the senior national team of India without playing in the junior tournament. Just imagine her talent. This may be due to the fact that when she used to play with the boy, she had developed a great and a quick footwork and a football skill. That is why it is said that God has a plan for everybody to sign. Being the youngest member in the Indian national football team, at first she was a bit apprehensive lest she made any mistake in the football. As she continued to perform better, she got more confident in herself and she was a part of the national team till her retirement in 2016. 
before the Asian Football Confederation Women's Championship in 1997, the Indian women football team was sent to Germany for a month to be trained by the German coach and learn the advanced skill of football. It had helped Bam Bam a lot. During this team in Germany, she had learned a lot. In 1997, the AFC Women's Championship was held at Guangdong, China. The game at Germany proved vital as India defeated Hong Kong 3-0. Japan, the top-ranked team in women's football, defeated India 1-0. And in their final group game encounter, Indian team crushed Guam 10-0. She had learned many useful things from her senior teammate and the coaches during her long career in football. Mm -hmm. She also sacrificed many things in her life just to play football for the country. She reduced the intake of chili, oil, meat and the delicious junk food to extend her playing career. All her life she eat, drink and sleep football. She trained harder and longer. All this effort of her resulted in giving her an extended period of playing football. She had represented India for 21 long years, a career somewhat similar to the legendary Sachin Tendulkar. She had a bounty full of remarkable moments. Some of the prominent moments are discussed in this video. It is very difficult to be a captain for a state football team in India. It is much harder to become and remain the captain of football powerhouse of India, that is Manipur, for a year. However, Bambam had achieved a rare feat by captaining her state team, Manipur, for 15 long years. She was the captain of Manipur women football team during the period 2002 to 2017. It is a matter of pride for any player to become the captain of the national team. Bambam had been the captain of Indian women football team seven times during the period 2003 to 2016. What an outstanding achievement for Bambam. She was the first Indian woman footballer to represent club of another country. On June 2014, she and another youngster, Lako Futi, was signed by Maldivian football club, New Region. The performance of Bam Bam was very impressive during her stint in the Region Club. In the tournament, she had scored a total of 6 goals in 3 matches. She was declared the best player of the tournament. In her long football career of 21 years in the Indian women football team, she played a total of 85 international matches. She had scored a total of 32 goals. What an amazing feat! She was the captain of Indian women football team seven times during her career. Under her leadership, Indian national women football team captured three South Asian Football Federation Cup titles in 2010, 2012 and 2014 and two South Asian Game gold medal in 2010 and 2016. After playing for 21 years, she had played her last international match against Nepal in 2016. She was a winner of the first All India Football Federation Women Players of the Year Award in 2001 and again in 2013 when the Federation restarted to hand out the award after a gap of 11 years. Such was her impact in the field of football. Not only this, she was awarded with the Arjuna Award in 2017 for her contribution in the field of football. She was awarded the Padma Award in 2020. She became the first woman footballer of India to be bestowed the Padma Award. When asked how she feel after receiving the award, she replied, quote, This is an eye-opener to all who believe you can't go places playing women football in India. I hope this will inspire all the girls and their parents to believe." Unquote. Right now, she is coaching young and talented footballer of India. She had totally dedicated her life to football. May God bless her a long and a happy life and all her desire may be fulfilled. 
with this note i will shorten the video thank you everyone for watching this video till the end